So ayan, uh, busy na pod ko. Nag-prepare ko sa akong mga documents because kay mag-apply ko citizenship. So, daghan ka kong mga documents. Well, dili, dili na kaya daghan pariha sa katong nag-apply ko uh, indefinite leave to remain. Daghan kay to. So, this time, ang akong um, mga documents is yeah, application form na online. Then, passport na ako and passport sa akong partner. And then, uh, picture, 2 by 2 like passport size. And then, um, kanin mo na ang online nga, uh, online form application, nga uh, daghan ka ay yung uh, mga questions dere apil mo ang parents nga birthday, birth month, place, and then unsa pa man um English test na nako na at least level B1 and then marriage certificate or certified copy of a partnership and then life in the UK test result which I have. Tapos, uh, ang bago na ko nga uh, BRP, uh, biometric nga uh, card, katong sa indefinite leave to remain, and then, apply proof of address nga at least 3 years to 5 years na ka na sa UK, nga wala kayo uli, wala kayo uli, uli sa Pilipinas, more than 90 days. So, mauna siya ang usa sa requirements. And then, na ko um, Kani akong birth certificate, ako lang ni siya daloon para just in case nga mga yu sila. So, I think, and also, ang reference, like, hangan, reference nga, na kay kinahanglan duha ka reference, ang isa kay professional, nga British, at least professional siya, either like, lawyer, doctors, nurses, or any professional. And then, imura i-attach ang imuhang picture diri with the signature of the referee. So, duha sila. Ang usa kay, it doesn't matter kung Pinoy or any nationalities. Basta, kaila ra mo nga, like, more than five years at least. Kaila mo. So, Yes, and yeah, I think that was it. And also, um, payment is, I think, you know what? This is really funny. Uh, last two weeks ago when I checked, it was, the last time I checked, it was like 1,500 pounds. Pounds yan ha. 1,500 pounds para sa um, citizenship. And then, kawala pa mang koy kwarta ato. So, I was like thinking na maybe the same amount of money. But then, yesterday I was decided na, okay, I will, um, I am going to apply for my citizenship. So, yeah, it turned out when I checked yesterday, the price gone up. Like, so from 1500 Yesterday, it was 1,630 pounds. Plus. That's a lot, okay? Plus, <laughs> so you have to make an appointment for the biometric um, card or biometric, um, you know, fingerprints and everything. So you have to make an appointment. You're going to uh, one of the offices, the partner ng, like, uh, government, whatever. So you have to go there. And it was, so there is, there are, there are like choices. You got standard, you got VIP, you got other things there, choices, other options. So I choose the standard, the normal one, because it's more cheaper. But it, it wasn't, it was not like cheaper, cheaper. It was actually like, Two, four, five. well, the, the other one was 200 pounds. And the one that I choose, it was. 
145 pounds. So in Philippine money, that is like, so 107,140 is like almost 9,000 at least. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For the appointment lang yan, ha? Okay. <laughs> And then, there's another thing. You have, yeah. <laughs> so there's another thing that you have. So you, you have your... Payment for your um, application, which is 1630 and then the appointment fee is 1,145 1, pounds, rather. And then the other one is, surprisingly, <laughs> I didn't realize that I have to pay 50 pounds for the documents, which is, yung mga documents, kailangan, kinahanglan siya i-scan. And it's crazy because you have to pay for that. Imagine that. I mean... 50 pounds. Okay. Heads up, guys. Okay. For those who want to come to UK <laughs> because they're dreaming <laughs> to live in the UK for, for good, to work and everything, whatever your purpose, you know, first you intention. Need to be, first, you need to be a, guys, a peso millionaire. Guys, I'm telling you, you have to think about it. Like, you have to think, not just once, twice, you have to think over and over and over and over again because it's not easy. This time, it's not easy to come to UK. You have to spend a lot of money, trust me. I've... 10,000? I've been through a lot of yeah. these things. <laughs> 10,000 pounds. Well, like... You, you spent already on visas. Everything, 10, so... Imagine you have to, first you have, of course, when you are here, first you have to apply. Uh, the first thing that we did, we applied was... So, originally, visitor visa. Visitor's visa, which right. Which is quite cheap. Okay, but it doesn't matter and how then much. You have and then, so after that, after like two, three years, after five years at least, okay, here's the thing. After five years, nandito ka na sa UK, you have to apply for... Um, Indefinite leave to remain. Indefinite leave to remain, that's the most expensive one because you have to pay for the ILR, indefinite leave to remain, you have to pay. I did, I paid like one, I uh, know, 2,800, almost 2,900 for everything like application and then another like scan, uh, biometric, everything, and then um, appointment like this. That's the most expensive one. And then after that, you have to pay. If you want to apply for a citizenship, you need to pay another, another at least 2,000 pounds. Which is like 140. <laughs> And then, I know, it's, it's, it's crazy. Honestly. Um, alam, I understand na yung ibang Pinoy gustong pumunta ng, ng ibang bansa, like especially UK, dahil feeling nila kasi... Malaki yung saho dito, and then hindi nyo lang alam that's really, 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 really expensive here. Cost of living is really expensive. House renting is really expensive. Uh, everything. Yeah. It's everything. Talagang super mahal. So, pag-isipan nyo kung gusto nyo pumunta ng UK. <laughs> kasi UK kasi ngayon, iba na yung mga 10 years ago, UK is different now. Ibang-iba na. So, Kaya wag na. Anyway, <laughs> sinishare ko lang. So, ito yung mga documents na kailangan ko for citizenship. <laughs> so, meron akong birth certificate just in case. And then, um, the, the proof of address na, or proof of, like, yeah, address or proof na andito ka na sa UK for three to five years. At least, meron, meron ako dito. Yung sa, from the home office. Tapos, meron akong Um, the life in the UK test. Imagine, life in the UK test. Sa Pilipinas, hindi ko, hindi ko nga alam kung ano yung history ng Pilipinas. Eh. To be honest, I know. Don't judge me. But to be honest, I don't know the history of the Philippines. But here, kailangan, it's mandatory, kailangan yung pag-aralan ang history ng UK. So, this is the life in the UK test which you have to study, 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 and then you have to pass it. And then aside from that, I have, of course, the certified copy of our partnership or the marriage contract. And then you have to pass also the English test, which is basic in a way, basic um, 
English test like an IELTS, but it's re really basic. It's only B1. And then, of course, the application form. Na, it took me four hours <laughs> para matapos. And then, the rest is, of course, the appointment form. Na, I paid 145 pounds. That's crazy. And I have passport size of picture. That's really important for the referee or the reference. And then the rest, of course, my passport and my partner's passport. That's it. And yeah, that's it. Diba? Sa dami ng mga binanggit ko. Gusto, gusto niyo pa bang pumunta ng UK? Okay lang naman, pumunta kayo ng UK. But you have to... Uh, what is this, darling? Oh. Are they the same? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I think so. Far. But uh, again, uh, you okay. have to think over and over and over again kung pupunta kayo dito, worth it ba yung pagpunta nyo dito? Kasi yung UK ngayon, again, UK now, 10 years ago, 15, 10 years ago, Cheap. it's different now. 10 years ago and 15 years ago it was cheap and affordable and there's so many things uh, there's so there are so many um, opportunities but now UK is different it's everything's expensive so kailangan yung pag-isipan yan anyway sino share ko lang naman bye for now and i will let you know the result fingers crossed in god's perfect time so maybe in two months, I will, I will uh, share you the result. Bye!